James Webb Taste Space Telescope is identifying objects in the Dark Ages. Renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku has just shared a shocking discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short. NASA's multi-billion dollar telescope has just spotted six gigantic galaxies, each roughly the size of our own Milky Way. But here's the kicker. These galaxies were formed only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. That's a game changer. And today we have astrophysicist Michio Kaku and Neil deGrasse Tyson weighing in on this groundbreaking discovery. But before we dive into this incredible cosmic journey, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our fascinating space updates and discoveries. The James Webb Space Telescope, often touted as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, has just made a jaw-dropping discovery. It has spotted not one, but six colossal galaxies, each about the size of our Milky Way. Now, what's astonishing about these galaxies is not just their size, but their age. They came into existence a mere five to seven hundred million years after the Big Bang. We're talking about galaxies that were formed when the universe was just a toddler. These mammoth galaxies have been fittingly dubbed Universe Breakers by the team of astronomers who discovered them. Why? Because if they turn out to be real, they challenge our entire understanding of galaxy formation. Astrophysicist Erica Nelson, an assistant professor at the University of Colorado Boulder, and one of the researchers behind this discovery said, it is not expected that the early universe will be able to organize itself that quickly. These galaxies theoretically should not have had time to form. Until now, scientists had believed that the process of galaxy formation was a slow and gradual one, taking shape within the first few hundred million years of the Big Bang. But this discovery turns that notion on its head. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers peered roughly 13.5 billion years into the past and found these massive galaxies already thriving when the universe was just 3% of its current age. That's astounding and forces us to rethink everything we knew about the cosmos. Neil deGrasse Tyson, famed astrophysicist and host of Cosmos, weighed in on this discovery saying, the galaxies are so massive that they are in tension with 99% of the models for cosmology. In simpler terms, this means that either our current models of the universe need a major overhaul or we need to fundamentally rethink our understanding of how galaxies form. The implications are staggering. The Milky Way, our home galaxy, forms just one to two new stars every year. These newly discovered galaxies would have been forming hundreds of new stars annually for the entire history of the universe. Even one of these galaxies, if confirmed, could push the limits of our current understanding of cosmology. Now you might be wondering, how certain are we that these are galaxies? Well, at this point, all the evidence points to them being galaxies. However, astronomers haven't ruled out the possibility that some of them could be enormous quasars or even supermassive black holes. What's mind-boggling is that the amount of mass discovered here means that the known mass in stars during this period of the universe history is up to 100 times greater than what we previously thought. It's important to note that previous imaging of our early universe by the Hubble Space Telescope didn't detect these giant galaxies. JWST, however, is about a hundred times more powerful than Hubble and has delivered on its promise to reveal the universe's deepest secrets since its launch. This isn't the first time the James Webb Space Telescope has forced us to rethink our understanding of the cosmos. Just last year, it made a groundbreaking discovery about the Big Bang Theory, challenging our beliefs about the universe's birth. Let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible journey of the James Webb Space Telescope itself. Launched on December 25th, 2021, it embarked on a month-long trek of nearly a million miles before reaching its designated position in space. The JWST's main mirror, a colossal 20-foot mirror, allows it to collect and bounce back light, enabling it to see distant objects with unparalleled clarity. But that's not all. Unlike telescopes on Earth, 
It operates in the infrared spectrum, free from the atmospheric interference that often plagues ground-based observatories. It's this unique combination of factors that has made the JWST the eyes on the universe and the perfect tool for such groundbreaking discoveries. But the JWST's capabilities go beyond just observing galaxies and cosmic phenomena. Recently, it made headlines for a different reason. The potential detection of signs of life on exoplanets. As we know, our galaxy, the Milky Way, is teeming with potentially habitable planets. NASA has tirelessly explored these exoplanets in hope of finding signs of life. The JWST has taken this quest to the next level by declassifying the first ever real images from another world. So where does this leave us? With the Big Bang Theory potentially facing a major revision and the JWST opening up new frontiers in our understanding of the universe, we find ourselves at the threshold of an exciting era of discovery. Join us as we delve deeper into these cosmic mysteries, exploring the implications of the JWST's findings and keeping an eye on what Neil deGrasse Tyson and other astrophysicists have to say about the future of our understanding of the cosmos. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell for more amazing space discoveries, and be sure to share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies and stay curious.